Today, we will see how to scan all the ports in a given system. So let's use Nmap system to scan our local system. So 10.0.1.13 is our uh, local system. And uh, by doing a scan with the default option gives these open ports. But in reality, uh, Nmap scans only a certain ports uh, by default. So if you want to scan all the ports, uh, you have to give it a, a different option, like a port option, which is from one to 65535. So there are six, 65535 uh, ports in any given system. So now if you look at the output, there are way more ports that are open on the system. So let's try to do this uh, in our Golang uh, program. Let's copy the same code, create a new project or new file scan all ports. So we don't need this um, array list. We need the IP from the user. And instead of scanning the ports, we can do something um, like a for loop, but instead of doing the range, we can do the for i equal to one. So initially the i will be one, and then uh, the next time it goes to the loop, it will be two and so on. And um, apart from that, I don't think you need to do any changes. And uh, let's try to build this program. Okay, undefined port. Okay, so we are using i. So um, let's change the variable name to port. And that should take care of it. And there is undefined i, I'm sorry. So we need to change port everywhere. So there is, uh, it goes in sequence and um, it, it this will take forever because only now it's um, close to a thousand ports. Let's stop this and let's not print the close ports. So let's comment this for now and let's run it again. So now you're seeing only the open ports. Again, this is going in sequence and uh, this program will take forever to complete. Uh, but this is, um, sometimes you can use the sequence, sequential operation uh, to do some tasks that doesn't take too long. In the next um, uh, video, we will see how to speed things up using uh, Go's, um, Golang's uh, concurrency pattern. Or, I mean, that is one of the feature that is provided within Golang and uh, we can um, spawn multiple things to be done at the same time. It's basically called concurrency. And um, you will see uh, how to do that in the next tutorial.